Come on in. Oh, now, oh, now, oh, now. Let me see everybody checking in right now. Got a few people up in this thing. Go ahead, share it, like, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. Y'all know what it is, man. This is the official Big Dog Chico live reaction to Well Off Media. It dropped today, April Fool's Day. Shouts out to everybody on April the 1st, 2024. It's your homeboy. It's, it's your favorite Colorado YouTuber slash reaction channel, breakdown channel, anything got to do with Coach Prime in Colorado, this is where you come to forced after you go to the top three, of course. So the big three, shout out to uh, the pregame show, shout out to Reach the People Media, shout out to uh, Well Off Media, and so on. Uh, also, shout out to my dog, Dave. Uh, look out for the Dog and Dave show. Shouts out to my dog, Adam. Look out for Buff em Updates. Uh, especially with spring really jumping off tomorrow with the first practice going down. They were off today after running yesterday, getting those gases in and all that good, good stuff and other things that they had to do to get back in shape and prove that they were in shape. You saw Coach Prime let y'all know what it was. Oh, now we up in this thing. Nine folks find us up in here. You know, you know how we do it, baby. Let's go. Let me know where y'all checking in from and how you checking in. We ain't going to move nowhere until we get these check-ins. Go ahead. I see y'all up in the, in the in the chats and so on. Oh, the Buff Awards got, after the disappointing type of end of the season, we kind of scratched the Buff Awards and kind of uh, just did the nominees. So y'all can kind of make your pick on your own who y'all want the Buff Award winners to be. But until then, let me know in the chat comments what y'all think and what you got going on. This is the B.I.W. The deal with up. Chico Tennessee in the place to be. Central Florida checking in with Francine. North Carolina, as always, checking in with me. Let me know. Give you shout-out cities and states and such. It's going to be an official reaction, reaction. It's time time for some time for reactions. We haven't done this in a minute, but we're going to get it back going, especially with spring really popping back off and the blessings and so on that's coming down. And uh, am I going to the spring game? They keep asking. I don't know, dog. I, I don't think I am. I got other stuff I have to do. I would love to if I could get like a special flight or some, but I don't have those cap capabilities right now. I don't have those capabilities right now. Oh, now to the Woodlands, Texas, Jersey checking in, Greensboro, North Carolina. Let's get it in one time. The title says Coach Sap needs what? All right, and I think we got a clip of uh, Zay up in there too. Chico, did you see Steve Smith do analysis on Zay Weaver game? I saw a little clip of it. I know that he liked him, and he talked about his speed and his route running ability and such. All the things that I saw in Zay – all Zay is going to need is a chance and to get in the right system. He's going to be fine. Uh, we saw Ocho Cinco talking on, on the nightcap about how he made the decision to go to the Patriots and it just wasn't the right fit for him. So that kind of, you know, had a bad ending of his career. So it's all about where you go and where you fit in at the most. And I think Zay Weaver is kind of like that Chad Ocho Cinco type receiver, good route runner, not the biggest guy, uh, real shifty, agility wise, great hands. I think he can make plays in the league and will make plays in the league. Uh, probably a mid-rounder based off of what I've been seeing and so many wide receivers in the draft. So if he can go from anywhere from end of second to the fourth round, that's going to be huge for him. Anything after that is going to be about – well, any, anywhere is going to be about fit. So that's what I want to see. Yeah, I saw a clip too. There's an entire video he did on YouTube. Yep, he did a workout video. I need to react to that also. If I get a chance to, I will. Uh, stay tuned later on in out my um, in my next up series, should I say. I got the young fella from Hawaii, right out here in Nalo Hood. Tanoa Kaui, wide receiver, class of 2029. We're going to talk to him after I did the interview with Blaze. A lot of people been requesting, hey, man, keep coming with the, with the young fellas too, big dog. You got the parents. You're doing the recruiting. You might as well fill in with the young guys so they can come in and you give a spotlight to them, but hopefully they'll see the recruiting uh, uh, recruiting bids with Coach Riz that you do, and also Coach Prime, check out your channel. Maybe Coach Prime will see some of these up-and-coming guys. Maybe Coach Riz will see some of these up-and-coming guys, or even Coach Corey, or whatever team that you root for out there, they'll see some of these guys. So look out for Tanoa Kawi coming up later on today. Uh, I'll be doing that, a live interview with him. But for now, we got to go see what Coach Stapp talking about. 
Let me see what Coach Sapp up here talking about. Let's get it going. Y'all know how we do it. Let's go. And I appreciate it. You got to love this thing. Some of y'all just like with this thing. You got to love this thing. You got to desire this thing. You got to live this thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's that throwback. Oh, that's a, that's a Jackson. Oh. Yeah. Love this thing, dog. Cam, like he trimmed his hair a little bit, too. Got it more manageable, dog. Once your hair gets a certain length under that helmet and playing with it and stuff, it could be like a hazard or in your way or, or people try to pull it. Or whatever, you know. So he he kind of tightened it up, got it to about that Jackson State length, so he can fly around even more. <laughs> Delius Thomas. Ooh, they got a Delius Thomas in that thing. Oh, now big AD, big number ninety eight from the Ravens back in the day when they won the Super Bowl, baby. One of the smartest players I've ever had the pleasure to play with. Can you tell them? Can you tell them about the last? My last game ever. Man. Come close, bud, till you get this. I need you to hear this clear. It, it's a blitz call for my for Dion. Come out of the huddle and he says, take it. You take the blitz. I'm like, what are you? I say it's on you. He said, man, I don't care about no sex. You the one up for the contract. Go get that money. Come off the thing. I go get it. He got killed. <laughs> oh, Tucker, well, I got hit. He paid the price for it. And offensive tackle. He I paid, paid for the price for it. <laughs> Rex Brown said, what happened? He sacrificed. This has always been the guy that I know. And a person that six-round draft pick, you know, trying to play special teams, do all of that, all those things didn't matter to him. He's always been who he is today and always did for others. And so he didn't care nothing about no sack. He let me go get the sack. It allowed me to make me go for my contract here. He said, man, it's it for me. That's huge right there, dog. That's huge. Coach Prime been putting people in position to be better and to win since then. That's Do y'all hear that? Do y'all understand what that is? That's a Dalius Thomas right there. Outside linebacker. Blitz is storing there. Blitz are in storing there. Pass rusher is storing there. And he was in a position playing with Coach Prime, and um, they called a defensive play, and he was supposed to blitz, but they were next to each other, and Prime said, dog, you blitz, and I'll take the sacrifice. He's like, no, that's what it be. Listen, dog, I don't care about no sack, dog. You go get it. You up for a contract. You're younger. This is it for me. You get that sack, it means a lot. That's like going to get money right there if a guy can get a sack in that situation. Coach Prime did that way back then. I think he had second sentence too. Yes, he had second sentence. And we saw the formation, like we both studied. Like. He had a sack incentive. And this this is why he called him one of the uh, smartest players also, because Coach Prime, he he values that that studying of the film. And with if both of them are on the same page and they know what play is coming and they've they seen the formation and they've studied the film and they're on the same page, he can say, hey, we can switch roles right here, dog. And you got a sack incentive, which means that the more sacks you get, the more money you get. Or it could be like if you get a 10 sacks, have a 10 sack season, you get X amount of dollars, you know, bonus. So him knowing that and they knowing that they don't, he's knowing that this young fella's on the same page as him, he can switch roles and get him in the backfield for the sack. I know this is going to be a sack. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a sack. You got that, dog. Yeah. That tackle came out. Of yeah. <laughs> I went to him as a play. You get that. You got a cycle. You got a set. Yeah, Rex, Rex, like what the hell? Oh, hey, that, that's, Much that's love, Rex. Much love, Rex. Yeah, Rex Ryan, man. He, he gave us that. Much love, Rex. Freedom, though. Like coaches on the field. He was a coach on the field, man. Steady. Hey, I got my your famous name. Hey, I got my guy. Y'all get everybody else. I got my guy. Y'all get everybody else. <laughs> Do y'all know how cold that is on the field right there, dog? I got my guy. Y'all get everybody else, dog. In other words, do your job. That's another way of saying do your job. I got my guy. That was always. Ain't gonna be because of me. Ain't gonna be because of me. That's all I do. Listen, we got a heck of a staff. I need y'all to do your homework. Wait, 
What's his position on the staff, coach? Damn, you got a Dalius Thomas too? To see if any staff in college football has. I'm going to tell you right now, no. More former NFL players or coaches on their staff. And we might be looking at an analyst. An analyst. And they're about to change the rules. To where an analyst can now coach. That you can have unlimited coaches. If they change the rules the way you can have unlimited coaches, everybody going to want to come coach with Coach Prime. And I'm just saying, I know he's a Unlimited coaches. If they change the rules to where you can have unlimited coaches on the college staff, it's going to be about budget and who you want to coach for. Budget and who you want to coach for, dog. So to the teams like Texas and Texas A&M, we got big budgets. They can go hire all the for all their former players who want to coach and such and such. They can go do that. But it's going to be the ones that want to coach and get their feet wet and have that relationship. Coach Prime. Buff Zone is reporting that Sapp is actually hired as a GA, according to Brian Howard. How is that true? Well, that's according to Brian Howell. All you got to do is do a little digging or whatever. That's no diss to Brian Howell. But, yes, he was a, uh, originally going to be brought in as a GA. And maybe on the field, he's a GA so he can be able to coach. But that's about to change. But until then, he's that, what? what is the quality, whatever, assistant uh, coach or whatever. So he has his own lane. But because he's oozing football knowledge, Anytime he can coach is a plus, even if he's not the, the uh, uh, defensive line coach. You see what I'm saying? So with all these coaches and all this experience just there, that's what you want to have. Oh, not big LT, just checking in. Are these analysts ranked as coach? No, no, they're not. They're not. They're, they're analysts. They technically, like last year, uh, Pat Sherman was an analyst until they moved him up. Yes, yeah, senior quality control analyst. And Quality control analyst. That's what DT was last year, right? Um, um, coach who's out, out here in Hawaii now, Dennis Thurman. That's what he was last year. It was reported that if he came as an analyst, he couldn't coach. Right. So it is a lot of ways. That's what I was saying last live. It's a lot of ways you have to put this in and type it in and have them labeled so that they can be on the staff, right? Now the way that they coach, if it's if the rule rules are the analyst can't coach on the field, then that's fine because he can ooze out some experience in the locker room, in the in the in the weight room, in the cold tub after analyzing what they've done on the field, right? Go into the film room. Can't they have film sessions or something like that? But the point is, get them on the staff right now, and all these rules are gonna be changing soon anyway. Well, that's my point that I've been making because the change has uh, hasn't happened yet. So that's the only way he can get on the field before May. Well, we'll see. Best believe Coach Prime going to find some loophole. Exactly, and that's what it is. And and but it's not like Coach Prime the only one doing it. It's been done for you. Nick Saban invented it. Nick Saban came up with bringing guys on his staff as analysts. Come on, dog. Y'all gotta know how to you gotta know how to win, dog. You gotta play smart and not hard. You know? Real father, you gonna take their history and make sure they straight. But I'm just saying, the analysts, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what I tell Here we go. He thought it was a game, he thought it was a game. The big fellas here. The big fellas here. Well, here. Look at the big fella. The big fella's here, but Boulder, this is what I need. The big fella needs activities, because that's who he is. The yeah, activities. You got to keep him busy. You got to keep him busy, all right? He loves to golf. Yeah. What else do y'all think Coach Sapp needs? You got to have golfing. You got to have fishing. So you want to go hit some on the range, maybe a top golf or something like that, or a nice golf course. He want to go fishing. want to learn how to trout fish and 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 what do you call it? Fly fish and stuff. Let's watch the rest of it. Yes. 
He loves to hunt. Yes. He loves to fish. Ooh. He loves outdoors. I don't fly fish, but if that's what, but if but that's you, what I gotta do, fly, I'll do it. When you fish, I'm fly when I fish. I'm fly when I. Fish. He's good. Now I would say he, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't necessarily call Sap fly when he's fishing. I would call him eccentric when he's fishing, right? And what is eccentric, right? This is eccentric. I'm gonna show it to you right quick. I'm gonna show you Big Sap on the golf course. And shouts out to Oahu, which is out here in Hawaii, which is Hawaii, the island that I live on. Shouts to Hawaii, Hawaii, Oahu Golf Apparel out here. And check this out real quick, like, for your proper like. This is Big Sap, of course. Shout out to, uh, okay, here it is. This is him on the golf course. <laughs> Now that's eccentric. My dog, like he got on some Jordans, some custom J's with the socks, with the Hawaii uh, uh, short swim trunks, with a Oahu golf apparel shirt on and hat. Oh, he ready to go. But he got a nice swing, though. He ain't playing on that golf course. That, that is posted by Oahu golf apparel. Oh, not to Oahu golf apparel. Y'all check them out. Let them know that they need to be sponsoring the show. Shouts out to my dog, Bubba Soldier, and the Rebel Soldiers, my favorite group out, of, out here in Hawaii. All right, let's get back to it, man. Shout out to Big Sap doing his big thing. Oh, pause. Uh, <laughs> with the Colorado Buffaloes, man. All right, here we go. I'm being silly right now. You thought it was a game. You thought it was a game. The big fella's here. The big fella's here, but Boulder. This is what I need. The big fella needs activities because that's who he is. You got to keep him busy. You got to keep him busy, all right? He loves to golf. Yes. He loves to hunt. Yes. He loves to fish. Ooh. He loves outdoors. I don't fly fish, but don't if that's, what, but if but that's you, what I got to do, fly I'll do it. When you fish. I'm fly when I fish. Though. Okay. Yeah. But those three things. Right? Yes, please. And you know what? He likes biking. Yes. He likes biking. Oh, yeah. So I need you to get at him, get in his DMs. I need somebody <laughs> to bless him. Golf course? Yeah. I'm coming with you. I Please. don't play, but I'm going to come with you. Oh, yeah. Cool. On the golf course? We and outside. We got to bring J. Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants you. He's been talking to us. He wants you. And Phil's going to get some, too. I'm going to whoop no line. J. I got to whoop no line. J. Phil, whoop no See, I got to whoop the line. That's that competition that Coach Prime wants, that everybody wants, that everybody would love to see. Is that competition? That's why he called out uh Big Field, Big Field Load Hold, which is the offensive line coach. He's like, I gotta be Big Field. And see, it starts like that, dog. It starts like that. Them guys need to go need to be, have competition. Everything they do, just like Coach Prime saying, he tried to breed in the players. That's why you had the coaches doing the walk backs and stuff and the competing with them, each other. You gotta have that competition just instilled in these coaches to compete with one another. I used to see that. Uh, with my coaches in college and in the pros or whatever, but like we we didn't see a lot of that last year, but this year, Sap is going to be competing with Big Field Lodo. My boys against your boys, my dogs against your dogs, and I ain't looking to lose. I, I got to oh, he better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the main two things we need a place to go. Yes. And outdoors. Outdoors. You, you got to go to the resorts for for the snowmobile dog. It's unbelievable. No, I'm going up to the top. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going up to the top. You, you take me there. No, because they bless you. I, I, don't, you need? I don't need nothing else. We need a bike. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely need a bike. We need a bike. Need a bike. Need a bike. Yeah, I need a bike. He got the whole outfits and everything. Yeah, I'm going to ride to work. I'm going to ride to work. I'm going to ride to work. Y'all see Sap in his full outfit with the biker, biker outfit on. Big 300 plus pounder in the biker outfit. <laughs> Shout out to Big Sapper, baby. Let's go. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what else? That's it. And a place to stay. Can y'all find your boy a place it's to stay? It's expensive here. I don't mind expensive. I don't mind expensive. Big Sap said, I don't mind expensive. That's where you got money, money right there. I'm a Hall of Famer, dog. I saved up my money and, and I do well. You know, Big Sap. I don't mind expensive. I just need something nice. But I need a place. Holla at uh, Laura Levi, Levi or Livy. Laura Levi. Holla at Laura Levi. Laura Levy. Laura Levy, right? Laura Levy. I need to pull it up. Holla at Laura Levy, the best realtor in Colorado and Boulder area. Might be expensive, but she's the best one. Holla at her. To stay because you know, the Airbnb and people do not want to call me back and they won't let me send a phone. I'm helping right. y'all, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> he said the Airbnb people won't call me back. 
<laughs> they won't call you back, Big Sapper. Big Sapper. Cut the mohawk off, Big Sap. Grow the braids back, Big Sap. You feel And last but not least, whenever you see him out, I want y'all to get love. Oh, yeah, and I get love back. The big fella needs love, too. <laughs> the big fella need love, too. He's good. Who not going to want to talk to Warren Sapp when they see him out there? That's two Hall of Famers. In Boulder, where it's cold again, busy. Let's go. <laughs> that deep is alive. Oh, oh, somebody, oh, somebody going down. Oh, as the chef, ask y'all to get him down. Chell alive, of course. Say yes. Why can QB Killer? That's a, that's used to be uh, his name. I don't even think I can't though. Because watch Sap. Uh, I ain't gonna say that. I, I, I just saw the jump. It didn't look like you were going that high. I, I will say this. I've seen him play. He, he, he patterns the game after Steph Curry. Yeah. Steph, three pointers, right? Oh, he goes shoot. Pass the ball. No, Steph don't dunk. If he needs to, he will. Look, this is old school. Everybody around this circle can dunk the way they want to. Ooh. Steph can dunk. Look, Coach probably gonna put him in there. I can dunk too, though. The way they want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. You looking at me? This looking at me. Look at me. Look to my jeans. Do what it do. No, Your decision made. You my jeans. Let's bucket you. It's not our fault. Damn conversation. This is your fault. You, you chose the side that you, you picked. You can't choose. You chose the side. So whoever. what you're saying is horses make sheep? Yeah, no, what I'm dog. saying is. Let's go with that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you say horses make sheep? No, no. Let's go with that. <laughs> like, so like, you telling me horses make sheep? If I'm dating right now, like, I'm looking for a woman that, you know. You're looking to breathe. Is that like, No. <laughs> <laughs> That's athletic. You know, I got to see no, no, she can jump, Damn, she can run. That's not. Well, let's just call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. It's a good reader. Pick a dollar son back there. Look at him. Going to be a big right tackle right there, boy. Big fella. Well, you, can't, you can't get with a girl for 11 and think you're going to have a, a, a guard in the NBA. That's what I'm saying. saying. So, I mean, your choices reflect on my ability. <laughs> You can't just look at your door. Kofi Taylor Barracks just called over Adelius Thomas. Hey, that's cold. But to be able to call over potential Hall of Famers, Super Bowl champions, great players who played in the league, doing things that you aspire to do, just be able to not tap on his shoulder and say, come on. Imagine whatever job you're doing right now. Imagine you can go to someone and say, hey, I know you've done this job at the highest level. Can you show me how to do this right quick? And they be like, yeah, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. Cold blooded. Coach Prime got him right. No, he can't do That's your fault. Y'all have that explosion. Why is that? I have no idea. You took it from the other side. That's your fault. We saw beds y'all were living in. That was it. The good and comfortable. Good and comfortable. That's what it is. It's an explosion from the other side. To the mall? Uh, to the credit card? To the <laughs> Where's your door? <laughs> Magic Mode is good. Magic Mode, when he got him, that's what you got to get right there, Magic Mode. Those things right there. Might as well got to get the whole chair, Mo. We here, baby. We, uh. Houston. Good morning, world. I hope you have a blessed day. Dubs in the building. Yeah, nah, the FIFA stuff changed. Oh, man. Hey, don't look like Coach Mo got with some Kanye boots over there. Kanye gonna see this and make some boots out of that, dog. He gonna make some boots. It's looking like that. <laughs> I missed, I missed that. She got a little different. <laughs> she got a little different. That's why he ain't saying nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. When I left, he was up. He was killing stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's how I normally get to the game. Start doing the nonsense. Uh -huh. Derek started treating him like I was treating him. He started treating you fair. He, he was getting mad. I said, "Bro, I have no sympathy." <laughs> I don't be like the. Okay, there, there we go. We get the Zay. Zesty Zay is in Zay Tovin. What number are we in the league? Sixty nine. No. You wrong for that one, Buck. <laughs> you wrong for that one, Buck. Come on. Yeah. Right, 89, 89. Okay. 
I got 89. Hey, bro. I'm glad to see you here, bro. Glad to be here. No, hey, what's your weight? 180 something. Check it. Bro. Yeah. I got it back up. You know, I was at 169. Come on. Yeah, 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 it's looking bad. I was getting all kind of phone calls. I'm drinking dumb water. I'm like, whoa. I stepped on the thing. I think it's going to say like 170. So, stepped on, they yell it. Is that what we were? 169. I'm like, oh, yeah. I stepped off so quick. <laughs> Whoa, like, I just drank three water bottles. I ain't 170 yet. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm like 180 on the wake up. No. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, a couple more water bottles after 185. That was a good experience, though, the NFL draft. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was long, though. No. Like, it ain't what people make a scene. That's what, that's what they be saying. It ain't what people me. make the drive scene. Yeah, it be long, dog. It be long. <laughs> All the stuff happened like the pause. Damn. Okay. Pause. Okay. Last two days. The other days. Yeah. What you doing? Just sitting around. Just sitting sit around. Doctor's appointments. X-rays. Damn. EKG. Yeah. EKG is serious. Let me see if they got some football on here. Okay. Yeah. Good job, boy. Not at all. Damn. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I wish. Fool was not that. Fool was not it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's show. Right. It's show. Yeah. That's why I was. That's why I was a light. Yeah. Fool wasn't it. Damn it, on me. Bro, you gotta come on back up here. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's a small. Tell him what he said. He's in our bed. Two o nine. Two o nine. Two o nine, brother. Really two o six, man. Tell the truth. I told. I told him when he got here, his arms were the same length, the same width, all the way down here. Just up. Just up. <laughs> hey. Shout out to Coach Reyes. Oh, no. I like how Jordan wears his shirt tucked in, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's just standard. That's just how I've been doing it. I'm, I, I'm out here to work. Let's just do it. I used to wear mine like that because Jerry Rice did it. Jerry Rice always looked nice and, and smooth in his uniform, so I want to do that on the field, too. I want to look like a creative player out there. And I like Jordan. Look like he's all about business. Doesn't look sloppy or none of that. You know? I bet you his room is nice and neat. His notebook is nice and neat. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, real quick, real quick, before I forget, y'all remind me later on. But before I forget, uh, forget, Sweet Caroline, yes, they do all that for the NFL. Why they they have you out there stretched out? You know, they check in length. You 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 you're standing up in nothing but draws on or either tight zone, and you kind of look like you feel like you're on the meat market, dog. You know, so yes, they do all that. Check everything, X-rays. Uh, medical, physicals, uh, mentals, uh, uh, all type of questions, your background, uh, how do you feel about this? How would you handle this? Da, 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 all type of stuff, man. Stuff you wouldn't even think of. Yep. Hey, you ain't got no bottles. <laughs> 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 ain't got no bottles. That's the way you get alive, bro. <laughs> like, God damn. Bro, they, they, they forced me to buy some bottles. I said, God damn, we really don't have any bottles. Hey, like, like uh, they forced me to spend some money. I just, no. no, not the boat. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, I got Smitty coming up next. I got to do a Smitty interview with uh, Reach the People. I got no bottles. Bro, y'all ain't got some bottles. It's supposed to be a cocaine. You ain't got no bottles. I bought a slit. I'm like, damn. That's why we ain't got no bottles. Damn, man, bro. Boy, it's my son. Bro, did that boy just take our bottle? <laughs> <laughs> I bought that bottle. Yeah, he did buy a bottle. I bought a bottle. Yeah, he was turned. Yeah, he was turned. He told me, y'all ain't got yeah. all these people in no bottle? Yeah. yeah. I got these hoes no bottle. What's up? When? I'm like, damn, what you got here, bro? He <laughs> <laughs> said, bro, bro, force me yeah, to buy a bottle. I don't need to try to spit out his breath. Come on, bro, say it like that. Like, he's just a bottle of sand. I'm just like, 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 I'm just as I switch over to reach the people, let me see. Was that it for well off? <laughs> they are just horsing around, as as my coaches used to. You guys are just out here horsing around and and jacking off and talking smack and just horsing around. I'm like what is horsing around, coach? <laughs>
You guys got to get focused. You got to understand what the mission is and what we're here to do as a team, as a squad, as a unit. What What is it is your goal? What is it that you want to do? All right, let's go to reach the people media. It's, it's, <laughs> like, they have to get new uniforms. Come on, man. They're not going to say Pac-12 up there no more. Oh, that's a flex, though. That's a flex. If you that's walk into your crib and have one, like, damn, you was having that cheese. You know, I had to get the TCU on one-on-one jersey. I had to get the TCU that's on. one. one I got. That's one hanging up. I got the great Oh, I got about four of them. That's, like, the, every, that's my favorite video of all time. Which one? Colorado. You on the, you on the field. They doubted us. I'm telling you. Who you was with? You was with five, and you me was with two. two. Yeah, they doubted us. Shocked Bro, the world. Nobody thought we was gonna Nobody win. Thought we Come was on, gonna man. Win. That was the best feeling in the world. It was, bro. It I'm was. Like, oh, yeah. Honestly, it was. We going to the natty. <laughs> we playoffs. <laughs> Everything in our head. <laughs> yeah, this is a reach to people uh, reaction now. I guess I should have changed that too. But well, I'll reach the people. Same thing, family. You know what I mean. So I'm just switching over to reach the people right now. Say, hey, Chico, checking in from Maryland. Oh, now, Maryland. Glad to see Sap in the house. Yep. Sap is here. Weaver is a good guy. Something special about this young king. I agree. Shout out to Portia. Set tripping. Tremaine Young, I hope Xavier get drafted. Me too. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. <laughs> we did. It's over with. Like, yo. Week five, just but that's how we're supposed to feel, though. After week four? Week five, organization. It started feeling different. They started scratching their head. Man. What happened? Uh, that boy. You know what? What's up, G? Chilling, chilling. Good to see you, man. So right now we're looking at the... All right. We got some in this thing. Maybe we'll get a sneak peek of the uniforms. I'm sure some of you guys already watched this on Reach the People Media's page. Y'all check that out. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Support your boy on this page right here as I'm trying to grow. Also, you know what I mean? Join the conversation. Click the link in the description, in the comments, and get you some merch. Get you some merch. If you want a Big Dog Chico shirt, get you some. I appreciate you for the support. You know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat once again. You can get something for yourself, uh, for your wife, for your for your husband, for your boyfriend, for your baby. We got baby clothes on there. Baby clothes. Yeah, we got onesies on there. Sponsored by Coach Hayes. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Hayes. You know what I mean? We got onesies on there. I don't have the camouflage onesies yet like he, he was wearing, like he was modeling. But, you know what I'm saying? We do have so I'm on there. So it's in the in the chat right now. I appreciate the super chats or any donations or anybody going to get some merch right now. If you can't, just go ahead, hit the like and subscribe and share one time. You feel me? Let's go. The telecommunication system and the helmets y'all have been hearing so much about. So how does this work, Smitty? What's going on inside of here? About time. We got that in college football. We're going to have this in college football now where the quarterbacks can hear and maybe even the middle linebackers can hear the calls now from the coaches directly from the sideline. They don't have to look to get these signals. You can hear it. Quarterback can relay it just like in the NFL. Should be quicker. Let's see if we can hook it up for you. He might have to edit this down, man. It takes me a little while to get it. No, it's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it set for you. So just what I'm looking at, I see two what it looks like speakers right here. Yeah, you got two speakers on the side. One right here, one right here. This is the module that controls all the communication. And so what we've got to do is set that module up. Dang, so that's going to be inside the helmet. Sheesh. Takes a I hope that don't do no radioactive type stuff like when the mic, when the phone be to your head and it's on the charger, you know? A little bit of time to get it done carefully. Why do you think they're just now implementing this like for, for the college game? Uh, that's a good question. Good question, Darius. I mean, the technology has been out there for a long time. Uh, GSC has been doing it for a long time. Coach Com has been doing it for a long time. But I think the – call it the infrastructure of, of college football makes it tricky for everybody to do it the right way. Because yep. it's important for them to have some equity amongst teams. And this stuff is really expensive. Cussing off. Yep. So every team – like, you know, like a, a lower level team might not have the expenses and the money to be able to afford it and to have it in. So, you you know, NCAA, you got to get it across the board, man. Awful lot of money to do. So I think they've had a hard time trying to figure out how to use the technology that is a, that's available, but make sure that everyone can have access to it and handle it the right way. I think over the last couple of years, that's kind of finally sorted itself out. So this year we'll be able to 
you know, set it up and uh, see if we can advance the game a little bit. Do you think at any point, like for next year's uh, college football uh, game, that they would implement like real time audio in the games? Real time audio meaning what? Like, let's say for certain calls, like it, it's kind of it, it's just a funny idea. Like, so imagine you're playing the NCAA game, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's talking about in the game. Okay, that'll be dope too. And you're hearing audio like of, of people talking back and forth. Do you yep. think they would actually implement like real time, like what happened the year before in that game? Yeah, they could. I think that's a put pretty... down below, y'all. Would that be a good idea or would that is that stupid? I don't no, know. It's not a stupid idea. Nothing is a stupid idea these days, man. But you ain't lying. I like that mindset, Smitty. Hey, a lot of people might think Smitty was stuck in his way because he no, nah, I like that mindset right there. What Smitty just said. Oh now, Smitty. I think to your point, there's so much going on with different platforms. I think every time there's a new piece of equipment that's added on the field, there's ways to implement it either the exact same way or different ways yeah, on yeah. the on the gaming side. And the gaming side has so much interest. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past anybody to put a, together an idea that makes a lot of sense. Coaches, I'm gonna give you all an idea right now. I should talk about some ownership with that man. That's the uh, intellectual property. He told Shador run a play. He ignored it, and then we score on a big touchdown. That's going to be a moment in history. So, so once that the happen, fires up, what's happening here is um, our coaches will use this type of radio. This is a practice setup. We have it set up a little bit differently for the game, but just a two-way radio that talks to this module right here, which is powered by this battery pack right here, which feeds these two speakers. So at the end of the day, if I'm calling a play, if I'm Pat Shermer, no matter what, Throw it to Darius. He's going deep. <laughs> you hear it in the helmet, yeah, and then that's it's pretty loud too. Yeah, it's pretty loud. We have this turned up. Um, we have to manage the the volume a little bit depending on the environment that we're going to be in. Yeah. Right now, in practice, that's fire. All right. A lot of people might be asking, why is this so important? How is this so important? You just heard Smitty say, uh, and gave a great example by saying, "Throw the ball to Darius, no matter what." You know, it gives. A quarterback, or I'm sorry, offensive coordinator who's up in the booth who can see things a lot differently from a different perspective than the quarterback on the field. And it gives that quarterback a chance to get some NFL type uh, readiness by hearing it in his headphones like that. But at the same time, and I think they have to not be able to communicate with him like a few seconds before the snap, but at the same time, that offensive coordinator can be seeing things that that quarterback can't see, and he can say, you know, at the last second, hey, uh, the safety's coming down. He, he, we know we've been watching on film that if he comes at 18 yards rather than being at 22 yards, he's usually going to blitz or come into the flats. That's giving us a signal that he's not going to be covering deep. It's going to be man coverage on the outside with the Marion Miller. Hey, Shador, we got man on the outside. Uh, a Marion man on the outside. We got, we got the look that we was looking for in practice. Whatever it is, you know, they might have a code. They say, hey, hey, four deep, four deep. Whatever it is, they can see it now. They can communicate. And um, the offensive coordinator can't communicate with the quarterback on what he sees from the booth. Uh, amazing, incredibly um, important feature that's going to, I think, bring some improvement to all quarterback play or could bring some improvement to all quarterback play in college football depending on how the offensive coordinator uses it and communicates with his QB. You know, it's fairly quiet in the indoor, but we've got it turned up. So those guys are used to hearing a pretty loud signal in their ear. And then when they get to a, a situation on the road where they've got crowd noise, crowd noise, It'll, they'll be used to it. we want to make sure that they're focused on that same volume. There's ways that uh, when we get into the games later in the season, we can kind of cover up this little ear hole to make sure that we get a little bit more uh, clarity of sound for them. But the end of the day that's really it that's the process is there any way for them to still hear outside like still hear stuff on the field yeah you can as long as you don't cover the ear ear parts up and that's what smitty was saying right there so yeah only time you'll hear the call from the from the um offensive coordinator is like when he uses a two-way walker phone microphone you'll hear when they come in the players yeah or is it yeah. like like you know how airpods like kind of isolate the sound can they still hear no, it won't have no AirPods. That's why it's connected to the helmet, and it's going to project out like a speaker. It's not going to be in his ear or covering his ear like earphones. Like it's a great question. Teammates? Yeah, that, it's a great question. That's why these speakers are just mounted in the in the uh, side of the helmet, right? So 
philosophically, you could put a noise canceling earpiece in uh, the player's ear, which would take out a lot of that local sound that they need to hear. Yeah. They don't want to do that for that reason because they still need to be able to, to yeah. hear what's going on around them. Exactly. You still got to be able to communicate with your guys. Wide receiver might say, hey, hey, hey I, don't hear, I don't hear the play, but you can't hear him because you got a noise cancellation. Now you're not able to communicate with your players, which is very important. But if you can just have it projected to you, you can do the same thing. The other piece is, you, you know, you're talking about a collision sport here, so you don't necessarily want to put something in someone's ear that's connected to the helmet yes, where you have yeah. a chance to kind of get hit in a weird way. So the fact that this speaker just kind of sits right behind your ear, it's loud enough that they'll be able to hear it no matter what the, the environment is, but then they'll still be able to hear out of their ear the normal way uh, that they're used to with what's going on around them. Basically, I just put my headphones behind my ears right here and just turn it up a little bit and I can still hear everything. Okay, y'all. This is a kind of closer look at what's going on. Now I can also hear what's around me too, you know? Cold blood. In people's ears or what will be going on in people's ears this season. I know somebody's going to try to hijack and play some music through the whole game. <laughs> Perfect time, man. You can make that happen, man. I'm sure you can. That might be dangerous, bro. <laughs> It's like, why do I only hear music? My phone's connected to this. There is probably going to be some kids that try to connect their phone to this. Don't do it, bro. If you do, that would be kind of cool. But. <laughs> Hijack the signal. Yeah, I bet you some guys who can figure out how to do it, too. <laughs> I don't think your coach will, will take too kind of that. Reach the people, man. Let them know what's going on in our world. I love it. Yeah. Reach the people media. That were, that's what it is right there, man. If y'all wanted to know what's the significance of the microphones in the helmets, there it is right there, broken down by Smitty. Great questions by Darius with input from yours truly. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see here. Anything else? If not, then we're going to be up in about the same piece. So I don't know if a lot of y'all guys knew. Hold on. They got some more. Hold on. Stay with me. Smitty, are you a proficient in Illustrator or are you just messing around with it? <laughs> Proficient's uh, a good question, man. I, I can uh, I can hold my own in Illustrator. Bro, even that alone is impressive because I took I literally took classes. like for, You know, like college classes – I could do the assignments with the tutorials, but never real world application yet. And I see you over here just having, I can't show y'all his setup. He has four screens. He's doing mock-ups over here. It's not just, it's not your average, uh, not your average money right here. Not your average this equipment is, guy? You're not your average equipment guy at all. Yeah, listen, I, I was a fortunate man all my time at Nike. I was just about to say, you worked at Nike. Um, you know, I did a lot of product management and I worked really closely with a lot of super talented designers yeah and um these guys may not back me up those guys may not back me up on this but i've always found that um you know when you're communicating you got to meet people where they are right so when they were communicating to me um in illustrator terms how they were designing uniforms for the nba and all that uh, it only made sense for me to become proficient in what they were proficient yeah. at. So, so now you understand work. what they're yeah, saying. Exactly. So I spent a lot of time very smart. Kind of on my own trying to figure that stuff out, mostly so that I could um, understand how to work with them more closely and make it easier for them. And uh, uh, like I said, I got I got good enough at it that a lot of those designers probably wished I hadn't ever um, gotten an illustrator license. But uh, it's helped me out a lot here because obviously Coach Prime pays. There's so no middleman. It's exactly, just he right. can come straight down here and say, Smitty, put this together for me. It's all right, bet. Yeah. He's such a his attention to detail, as you know, is so unbelievable. So I think showing him things uh, via illustration. This is the match made in heaven. Somebody who can modify things at, at, at the drop of a dime for Coach Prime. Then it rhymed. <laughs> modify things at the drop of a dime for Coach Prime. Damn, that rhymed. It's Smitty. <laughs> Smitty and Coach Prime, perfect match merging together to do this thing, dog. Or do this damn thing, dog. Or via Photoshop where he can kind of get a picture of it in his head, then give us really clear direction. Then we can go and get samples made and, and then lay things out for him on the floor. That's when we've been able to make a lot of progress in a hurry because it takes a lot of time to do some of that stuff. And I think when we get a clear picture of his direction uh, as early as possible, it helps everyone uh, try to deliver for him the way that he wants. Is there, Cold -blooded. Is there anything last season that you put together you were like kind of skeptical if he would like it? 
And then you showed him. He was like, no, this is amazing. <laughs> I, only, yeah. I asked that because I want to show them how you present things to coach, but I don't want to show them anything that hasn't been put out. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can you can take – so this this screen wow. kind of shows you – Uh, the end result, right? So there you go. Get it clear. All right. TCU game, Nebraska game, CSU game. Got all the games laid out and how they're going to wear it, their stuff. And everything is slightly different, whether it's the cleats or, or, or the helmet or whatever. Everything is slightly different. So what we would do. Wow. We would go through and we might. Mm, you can modify all of those things. Put together six or seven options. I want to see the, the Louis V print going down the side right there. Can y'all see that? Can everybody see that? I would like to see that Louis V print or the Colorado Louis V print going down like the side of the pants leg and up the sides of the jerseys. That's what I would like to see of the detail and on the gloves right there. Louis V print of a uniform for a given week, right? Different helmet combinations, different face mask combinations. Um, and then kind of let him see it like this. And then kind of from a 5,000 foot view, he'd say, I like the direction that this is going. And then we would kind of refine it based on his comments. And then this, this ends up being the document that shows what we wore every game um so this is the end. nice end result but these are my least favorite the ones they wore to oregon gold pants and white jerseys i don't like that combination gold and white this is kind of how it started for us right this is how we showed them some of the the design process for 23 and then all the eventual uniforms that we made we had bits and, and pieces put together to I love these white ones with the dark numbers too. Let him pick options for the certain game based on what he was feeling about the team and, and kind of what uh, what we needed to represent. And then this is kind of just a scorecard of, of where we netted out. But that that's the the military version that you saw that you know hard. We kind of came up with along with him um, a week or so before that game. So, a week or so before the game. Damn. Hey, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Uh, you can become a member of the channel already. Also, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Support your boy. Peace to the Middle East. Oh, no. This is it. Nothing too complicated, but just a lot of bits and, and pieces put together to, to let him kind of see what the landscape could look like and we'll, we'll kind of refine it from there and we'll do the same thing um for all the new 24 uniforms that people haven't seen and then uh, we've got a couple little minor tweaks to the helmets that people will be excited about and then obviously uh, you were there in the vegas with louis v print on the helmet you know what i got you know i didn't even drop that video yet i got some footage and some uh pictures from Louis V mock-ups that was done and that I was going to do a video on. Did I not drop that video? Well, I'm going to share these pictures with you guys right here. Let me know what y'all think about these mock-up pictures uh, of Colorado Buffs uniforms with the Louis V print. Let me know what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. If y'all were to see Colorado bust out in some of these, if I could find them, where are they at? No, I had him. I'm gonna look for him while the video plays. Hold on. When uh, when Nike launched those new shoes, um, so we've got a lot of those on the way, and so how those things all fit together, menu of parts, so to speak, um, I think that'll be really interesting for people to see once he starts uh, piecing together how we're gonna look game to game. Yes, sir. I might put that as a title: Colorado football's menu of parts. <laughs> I always try to take the, like the last thing someone says. And use it in the title. So yeah, thank you, cool. Smitty. Thank yeah. you for joining us today. Uh, Y'all want to uh, get his service? Smitty! Holla at my dog. Smitty! A live chat during the Iowa LSU game. A live chat. Oh. 
you talk about the women's game. I didn't even. I'm not even watching it. I watched it. I watch the uh the finished product on on YouTube and skip through it. <laughs> you know what? I might tune in and put it on now since you said it. But I have an interview coming up with a young phenom out here with the young fella. Check it out to Noah Cowie. He'll be joining me today, 5 p.m. later on. Let me see what he said. That'll be amazing. But but what? Let me see. But I don't know if it violates any NCAA rules, but if it don't. Put a new spin on Louis Luggage and has right. No, I mean, what NCA rules it, do they have? Like, you can't collaborate with a, another brand. You can't collaborate with a top brand that's going to bring more attention to your school. What? What are they saying? I think it'll only be a, a, a perfect match made in heaven with Coach Prime saying what he did say about the Louis Luggage and him bringing. It. I'm bringing dog. My luggage coming with me, and it's Louis. And I didn't stutter when I said it. You understand what I'm saying? Peace in the Middle East. Peace to the gods. Y'all know what it is, man. Chico to the scene, the place to be. Y'all stay tuned for an interview I got coming up next. All right. Appreciate y'all joining me on this reaction. Reaction from Well Off Media and Reach the People Media. Coach Sap needs what? He needs fishing. He needs hunting. He needs golf. And he just needs a bunch of activities, dog. He needs a lot of food, too. Holla at Warren Sap. If you're in Boulder, where it's colder and you're getting busy. All right. We up in about this thing. Peace in the Middle East.